Hey everyone, Matt here from Exploring Alternatives. In this video, we're going to talk about our 14 watt portable solar panel and this little battery pack that can be plugged into it. We bought a 300 watt solar system last year for our camper van from Renergy and we really like it, but we're not always in our camper van. So we needed something a little bit smaller that we could travel with. So we reached out to Renergy and they sent us these to try and now we're going to give you a full review. So the overall quality of this uh, little panel is actually very good. Uh, it's nice also, it only weighs 1.8 pounds, so it can easily go in my backpack if I'm traveling. It's made of this waterproof uh, PVC material. It seems to be very solidly sewn everywhere. Um, and the actual panels are made of this hard plastic that seems to be pretty tough. We haven't scratched it yet or anything. Uh, and there's a little pouch here where you can put your, um, your USB cords. This here is the little uh, voltage controller and uh, that's where you have your two USB ports. So you can plug two things in at the same time. As you can see, it also has a bunch of little loops all around it so you can hang it in all sorts of different ways with rope or carabiners. So this thing is made to plug in um, anything that is charged with USB cables, anything that's 5 volts. So uh, digital camera, MP3 player, phone, tablets, uh, maybe a USB flashlight, uh, stuff like that. So you can't charge a laptop or anything. You can use only the solar panel alone. You can plug one or two USB devices. Uh, you put this outside, uh, you let it charge during the day and your, your devices are charged. You can also use uh, a battery pack like this. So you can charge the battery pack during the day and then use the battery pack to charge your electronics later at night indoors or wherever it's more convenient. As you can see here, you can also charge the battery pack as well as a USB device at the same time. There is one thing to mention about the battery pack. It's a little strange. There's no buttons on it or anything. So when we got it, we didn't really know how to turn it on. You just uh, shake it once and it gives you the LCD display to tell you how much uh, you have left. And um, if it's charging, it's flashing. And after a few seconds, if you're not using it, it turns off on its own not to waste any power. So now on to the test portion of the video. These tests are not very scientific, but they are still very telling. So the first test we did is we went out on a really bright sunny day um, and in, in this scenario it charged everything pretty much as advertised and we were really satisfied with the performance under those conditions. So after that we thought it'd be really interesting to try and see if it works indoors. So see if we could get a charge through a window, through glass. That would be interesting because you could use it through a car window and you could also hang it from a window in an apartment or in a house and just use it year round. So on a sunny day, we just laid it down on the bed. It's about six to seven feet away from the window. And as you can see, I'm getting a nice charge here. It's obviously not like being outside in the full sun, but it's nice to know that we're still getting some energy, even though it's going through glass. So the last and most important test was to do it on an awful gray day. So uh, here it's the middle of winter. We picked the grayest of gray days. I laid it down on a chair. In this case, it was raining a little bit. So I just put the battery pack and wrapped the, uh, the controller from the solar panel in a plastic bag just to make sure didn't, water didn't get on that. It was out for a few hours and I was really surprised to see that I got an extra 10% on the uh, battery pack. So. I think that's pretty amazing considering there was very little light. So we're really happy with this. Uh, it performs really well and uh, we're going to use it a lot and I hope it lasts us a really long time. For anyone interested, we're going to put links below, but this is the 14 watt E-Flex portable solar panel from Renergy. And this is the Drifter 10,000 milliamp battery bank. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more like this.